morning, adventurers. Good morning. We are in Auckland, New Zealand. It is lovely, sunny, gorgeous day. Beautiful day. Yes, we are about to start an epic road trip all through the North Island, all through the South Island. But first, we thought we'd kick this trip off with a bang and get a lot of food today. For those of you who might not be familiar with New Zealand, it's made up of two separate main islands, the North Island and the South Island, and then about 600 other smaller islands. We're currently in Auckland, which is the most populated city in the country, which sits near the top of the North Island. When we heard about all the interesting dishes and foods that New Zealand is known for, we got super excited. It's got heavy Polynesian influence. There are so many interesting and quirky dishes here for us to try. We're really only gonna be able to scratch the surface, but we're excited to give it a go and try as much as we can. Oh yeah, I think this is gonna end up being a multi-part food series yes. because there are too many dishes to try. We're gonna be here for quite a while, I think three weeks in New Zealand. So we'll try a few today to get you guys excited and then we'll keep trying things along the road. All right, less talking and let the food adventure begin. Woo! come to a cafe called Chuffed to get one of the, I think, essential, not necessarily dishes, but items you have to get when you come to New Zealand, which is lamb. Y'all, there are so many sheep in this country. I think I read at one point there were 20 sheep for every one person. Now with the population increasing, sheep population decreasing, I'm reading it's more like six-ish sheep for every person, but that still means there are 30 million sheep in this country. The lamb has arrived and it looks so good, you guys. I'm so excited to try this. So you can see it looks very juicy and very tender. It's slow cooked. It's on top of some barley, some pine nuts, and then it's sitting on top of some sauce and a little bit of oil you can see in there. I mean, it looks so good. And then of course some garnish on the top. You can see a little bit of fat there. The meat is so juicy and tender. You don't even need a knife really. I'm just gonna try the meat kind of on its own, maybe with a little bit of the sauce on it. Check that bite out. Oh yeah, that's gonna be so good. Mm. Oh man, the lamb is so tender and juicy and full of flavor. It's, it's got a creamy texture because there's a little bit of fat in it. It just kind of melts in your mouth. I got a little bit of maybe a mintiness from the sauce. It's really good. Next step is to mix everything together for the perfect bite. It's absolutely magical when you mix all of it together. The sauce is nice and savory and oily. Then you get a little bit of a crunch from the barley, which adds a nice texture to it. There's not much flavor to it, but the texture to it is great because it really contrasts with the lamb, which is nice and creamy and smooth. So the difference between lamb and sheep, in case you don't know, a lamb is just a sheep in its first year. So a little bit younger. I decided to let Allison try some. <laughs> Finally, he was over there like shoving bites in his mouth. I was like, come on, man. But y'all, it was worth the wait. It might be the most perfect bite of lamb I've ever had in my life. Yeah. It, it really doesn't get much better. Perfectly tender, perfectly juicy, super flavorful. This is I'd come back to New Zealand for this. So the lamb was a little expensive, but we just had to try it. We knew it was going to be incredibly good, and it was. But we also got a little sandwich to split. This is uh, just a pastrami sandwich that's nice and toasted on the top, and then there's some, uh, I think a bunch of sauerkraut in there. But oh yeah, it's going to be really tasty. But I think we've done enough talking. It's, this is kind of a late uh, lunch for us, so we're absolutely starving. We're gonna dig into this. This is the Sky Tower. And we looked over there and they had some cable that was coming down from the top. And I'm thinking, I'm wondering if people bungee jump from the top of this thing. That's crazy. Should we go try it? No, <laughs> no, I don't want to try it, it but terrifying. yeah, it's very high, <laughs> but I'm sure very expensive too. We'll just stick with eating food. Yeah, that sounds safer. Next up, we are going to try some ice cream that's really well known here. But uh, I think there's a bit of a line at the place. This is it, Giapo? Yep. All right. Aha, it turns out they have a, a fast lane around the back. If you know what you want, and we definitely know what we want. We have put our 
order in. There is quite a long line though, so I think it's gonna be a little bit before we actually get our cones, because they're not just regular ice cream cones. These are pretty fantastic ones, so it takes a little TLC to put them together. You can see in the background how many people are waiting. So many people. I've heard the people have waited up to half an hour. Hopefully that's not us today, but I think it's gonna be worth it either way. First up, I am trying the Afghan biscuit cone. So an Afghan biscuit is a traditional New Zealand biscuit, apparently. It is made from flour, butter, cornflakes, as you can see, sugar, and cocoa powder. And then it's got this little dollop of chocolate icing on the top and this little half walnut. I'm gonna try the biscuit first, since that's kind of what you're supposed to try, I guess. Oh my God, it's like a little cookie hat. Ooh, it's sweet already. It's like um, a chocolate fudge cookie. Let's try the ice cream though. Oh my gosh. I don't even, it's gonna be Where so messy. Where do you even begin with that? Just bite in? Yeah. Oh! Holy cow. <laughs> oh no. Oh, look what I did. Oh no. Oh my God, it's so good though. Oh, so messy, but so dang delicious. The ice cream, I like better than the biscuit because they put I don't know if there's like, oh no, ah, shoot. Jeez, you make it such a mess. I'm making such a mess. Oh, oh no. no. What do I do? How do I look, you guys? <laughs> the damage, we've got chocolate all over your arm here. We've got a mess down here. I've become an ice cream cone. But what I was trying to say before I made a mess is I really enjoyed an ice cream form. It's really sweet, but the corn flakes are actually the star, giving it that nice little crunch and I'm not sure exactly what's holding it together, if it's like toffee or caramel, it's definitely very sweet and delicious, almost like um, peanut butter or something. Maybe one of the most over the top ice cream cones we've ever had. Yep, for sure. But so delicious, wow, the, like the cornflakes really the, add a lot to yeah, it. Yeah, there's chunks of cookie in there, whoo man. Maybe get it in the cup form though, cause this is ridiculously messy. And a little friend, oh, oh. he doesn't care. It's cleaning oh, up attacked. our mess, uh oh, <laughs> they know. This is Hokey Pokey, which is a flavor of ice cream that is very, very popular here in New Zealand. It's made of plain vanilla ice cream with small, solid lumps of honeycomb toffee. Fun fact, the original recipe until 1980 consisted of solid toffee, but in a marketing change, the company Tip Top, who makes the ice cream, decided to use small bits of honeycomb toffee instead. So what we have here is solidified chocolate coating all the ice cream on the inside. Then we have little chunks of that honeycomb toffee on the top in a nice, perfectly organized little strip. It's like a little mohawk. Yeah, and you can see it kind of starting to sweat because it's cold and it's a little warm out here and we've been sitting for a minute while she was trying hers, but I'm pretty excited to see what is inside of this chocolate. Maybe I can do this a little bit more delicately than, than you did, I don't Good know. Good luck, sir, I hope you do. All right, here we go, I'm going right for the top. Oh. That's how you do it. Oh man, whoa, so crunchy. Mm. Woo! That is incredibly sweet. <laughs> Jeez. Wow, it's really good. It is super sugary. The toffee flavor is delicious. It's like honey toffee, but it's a very sharp, sugary taste to these crunchy guys here. And they're so hard when you bite into them. And the vanilla ice cream is just perfect in there. Mix them with the chocolate. I'm gonna go for the spoon this, this time. There we go. Now I have a nice little pocket to eat out of. Check that out. <laughs> I cannot get enough of this one, you guys. I think I prefer this one to the Hokey Pokey, although it's really good, but this one is just, it's more on the chocolate end, which I like a lot more. Wet naps must have travel item. They come in so handy when you're eating ice cream or you're in the middle of Southeast Asia and there's no toilet paper. Or if you're just generally a messy person like this one. I am not a generally messy person. It is an absolutely beautiful day out here. We've stumbled onto this green area over here where everyone's just chilling. There's a guy playing guitar over there. Yeah. There's a little uh, food truck area over here. A little food trucks. I'm kind of sad we've got dedicated meals to do today because uh, I'd definitely be stopping in here oh, yeah. for a 
a little treat. This morning it was really windy and a bit chilly and raining and now it's the most glorious summer day ever. For dinner we have left the city. We've come down south to a place called the Hangi Shop to get some traditional Maori food. So the Maori are the indigenous Polynesians who came here I believe in the 1250s to 1300s. Hangi is actually a way of preparing food. You dig out a pit in the ground and then you fill it with rocks and you heat those rocks and that's how you cook the food. So we got a standard plate with pork and chicken. It's gonna have some delicious veggies on there and it should be all just perfectly cooked and super savory. I cannot wait. Our hangi plate has arrived and it has so many beautiful things on it. We have a huge piece of chicken on top. We got some pork underneath there. We have some stuffing. We have a potato. We have pumpkin, sweet potato, and then some cabbage. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. And then we got two different types of Maori bread on the side. I believe it's Ruina. We tried to ask um, the lady working here how to pronounce it. I know that I'm not saying it quite right. Yeah, we're probably mispronouncing a lot of things, but we're doing Ruina, our best, guys. Ruina, yeah. But so this is um, just, I guess, the sliced bread, and then this is fried bread, fry bread. So it's really hot and toasty up in there. Hangi is, from what we understand, very popular with gatherings and basically when you need to feed a lot of people. So the best way to get it is in a more authentic situation like that where they're just kind of preparing it, you know, on the fly for a bunch of people. We're not sure if we're going to have the opportunity to do that. Hopefully we will during our time here in New Zealand, but this is basically the second best thing that we could come up with. So we're very excited to try it. It actually looks really good. We've got the chicken on top here and then some pork on the bottom. They only gave us forks, so I'm guessing it just should just kind of come right oh, apart there. Yeah. It's looking like oh it yeah. Is. Wow. Oh, check that out. Oh my god. It's actually pretty juicy in there. There's a little bit of skin over here. I'm guessing it's gonna just be very simple and flavorful chicken. It doesn't have a strong flavor other than just the delicious moist chicken flavor. It's very very simple. Let me see if I can get a piece of this pork. See if that's any different. I'd say the pork is about the same. It's just the delicious flavor of the meat. Very simple. The pork is a little more dry than the chicken. I think for me, the chicken is the star between the two of them. It's really tasty. I'm excited to try this stuffing with this chicken. Mm. The chicken is definitely very simple, just very nice and tender. Uh, it's still pretty juicy and mixing it with that stuffing, that stuffing has so many herbs and spices in there. I think sage or thyme, it's really good. It does definitely remind me of the kind that we would eat at home. And it goes really well with the chicken. I imagine the pork too. I almost forgot to try the bread. I'm really excited for this. It kind of just looks like, ah, oh, kind of, I think it's going to be pretty chewy. It almost smells like a donut because it's fried dough. Mm-hmm. We've got entertainment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We've got the cutest kids roaming around. <laughs> They're being so cute and dancing around. Yeah. She walked by and she said, hi. <laughs> <laughs> That's so sweet. So it definitely tastes like a super yeasty, unsweetened donut. That is pretty much exactly what this is. It's pretty interesting. I don't think I've ever tried bread that tasted like that. This spot is really interesting. We got off the train and just had to walk about a mile in completely residential area and then all of a sudden it just appears. It's a very unassuming spot and we've seen a lot of locals going in and out so it must be a pretty local spot it seems. I think so. It gets really good reviews and as far as I could tell it's the only place in Auckland that always has hangi. So the only hangi shop around. Yeah. Oh man we're stuffed. <laughs> What a delicious day. Oh, so good, such a great first outing. Yeah, so we're heading back to our Airbnb now. We're in the town of Ellerslie. Or it's like a, a little neighborhood yeah. of Ellerslie, yeah. yeah. Tomorrow we will go up near the Bay of Islands. I think yeah. we're gonna go to see like a glow worm cave. Oh yeah. Some hikes. I think we're gonna get some fish and chips when we're up there. You guys, we have so many adventures planned, so many delicious adventures, all I kinds of stuff. wait. Yeah, but I think that's going to do it for today. By the way, we wanted to give a shout out to our supporters on Patreon and our channel members here on YouTube. Without them, this would all not be possible. Um, if you'd like to join, we've been doing this thing where we're doing like a, uh, a live stream for the people who are supporting us on either Patreon or through the YouTube channel memberships. And if you'd like to join that live stream, it is very intimate. We answer every single question. Yeah, it's pretty fun. You guys ask us whatever you come up with and put us on the spot but I think we do okay. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, it's good that they're kind of private because we, we're horrible 
live. So you can witness this if you if you support us on Patreon or become a channel member. The details for that will be in the description below. I think that's it though. Yeah. Good night, adventures. We'll see you on the road. <laughs>